Hey everybody, it's Travis speaking. Uh, I know it's been a while since we contributed to this YouTube channel, but uh, I've been meaning to get back to it for quite some time. If you're a subscriber of our BIMTECH news article, uh, back in July we submitted an article about creating placeholder sheets, something to speed up the process of your template development and otherwise your project as well in Revit. So if you read that article and um, Hopefully you read that article and it helped out a little bit. If not, you can go to our, our website here, click under company and you'll see the BIM Tech newsletter. And if you're interested in this stuff, you can hit subscribe and then you'll get it at uh, mid-month typically when we send it out. So that issue was back in July, this one right here, placeholder sheets, saving time with template development. And so what I'm gonna do is run through uh, basically the bulk of that uh, that article. So I'm going to hit new here in my Revit and I'm going to click on architectural template. So what we're going to see is just the plain Jane out of the box template with no content, no development. And what we're going to talk about is these placeholder sheets. So the typical process for creating a sheet is you come down to sheets in the project browser, you right click on it and you say give me a new sheet. And then it asks you well what title block do you want? So you can load up a title block got a folder here I think I've got this red cage one I'll use so let's say um, perfect okay that's a title block I want hit OK and then you can see now I've got that title block in there and if I expand the sheet section I've got a 101 unnamed okay so I could repeat that process over and over again or I could make life a little bit more simple for myself by right-clicking on schedule and quantities and creating a new sheet list so if I go down to the bottom of the available fields, I can choose sheet name and sheet number and hit OK. And now I've got a very simple sheet list here. So I'll expand this out a little bit so we've got some more, uh, more room in these fields. And all i got to do to get more of these right now or to name this one is type in this field. So if, I'm going to call this one cover. I've got my caps lock on, so let's keep that. And I'll call that one zero, A000. Okay, so you'll notice when I change fields, it updates down here in my project browser automatically. And if I hit insert data row, the next one that we're going to get is A001, and so on and so forth, right? So maybe we got three of those sheets, um, and then we get into the 100s. So when I click insert data row now, I'm going to go from 100 up, right? And these you can change quite quickly now, right? You can call this general notes. Um, Oh, I always do that, the lowercase. <laughs> who, who doesn't do that, right? Anyway, so I can keep naming these, but I'm not seeing them down here in Sheets. So now that I've got some in here, and I go down to Sheets and say New Sheet, right? you'll see all these down here in the, in the placeholder sheet. So we can click from, um, we've got covers already done, so I'm going to click from A001. Hold my shift key down, grab A102, and hit OK. And now you'll notice that all those sheets are here in my project. But even easier than this is if you already have a project completed, what you can do is go and grab the sheet list view and the sheets from that project and bring them into this one. So it doesn't bring in the project data, it just brings in your blocks, your title blocks. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of all of these. And uh, we'll show you that in just a second. So bear with me. I'll get rid of the sheet list as well. Okay, so I'm going to uh, go to the Insert tab and say Insert from File, and then Insert Views from File, and then you got to locate the file. So that's in my Red Cage Resources folder under this Arch Fundamentals. I'll grab this Final Modern Hotel. It's a, a training file that we use. So it's going to run a quick upgrade on that so it works with this current release. And then it's going to give me a dialog box of the sheets and views that I have available to me for use. Okay, so here you go. Here you can see it says um, show all views and sheets. You can, you can change this up a little bit. Maybe you only want to see drafting views. In this situation, we want to see the sheets. Right? Sheets. Sorry, no. Sheets and views. So <clears throat> I'm going to just say check all because it's easier for me to check the few that I'm not keeping. So I'm going to take out these ones and the rest of those I want. Okay, so I've got my sheet list as you can see and then the sheets that are on this sheet list in that project. So I'm going to work with this stuff. 
I'll hit OK and it does some thinking and if I expand my sheets now you can see I've got all these sheets already predefined it's using that Autodesk uh, title block and then if I go to schedules and quantities there should be a sheet list in here if I double click on that you can see that there are the names okay so that's pretty handy um, and it gets things started a little bit quicker so hopefully that helps you out with your template development and you can use this in your upcoming projects and if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the box below and we'll try to get back to you as soon as possible thanks for watching happy modeling